everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet a basket stitch. Now this is not to be confused with the basket weave, which can also be found on my channel. But this one called the basket weave stitch is uh, a mixture of single crochets that are worked in the back loop only as well as these spike stitches that you can see interspersed here throughout. They give the uh, fabric a neat look because it has worked in the back loop. It has a little bit of stretch to it uh, and just makes the back loop only design a little bit more interesting. So we're going to learn how to crochet this basket stitch. I'm going to be using a little bit of the Karen times Pantone yarn by Yarn Inspirations, as well as a six millimeter crochet hook. And there'll be information for both of these items in the description of this video. So thank you so much for joining me and uh, be sure to check out my channel, some of the other videos there. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. So uh, grab your hook and some yarn and let's learn how to crochet this basket stitch. So today for our basket stitch, we're going to start by making a foundation chain. And we're going to make our chain a multiple of four stitches. So today for the tutorial, I am going to chain 20. Ten. and 20. Once you have your multiple of four stitches, you're going to start row one by working one single crochet into the second chain from your hook and then in one at each stitch all the way across. Single crochet into that second chain from your hook and then in each stitch all the way across. At the end of row one, you're going to chain one and turn your work. You're now going to work in the back loop of your stitches. So when you look at the top of your stitch, you will see two horizontal bars. Your back loop is that horizontal bar that is the furthest away from you. So you're going to work under that back loop and you're only going to work under that back loop and you're going to single crochet in each stitch all the way across. So working in the back loop only. Single crochet in each stitch all the way across. At the end of row two, you're going to chain one and turn your work. We're now going to continue working in the back loop only, but we're going to add in a few spike stitches. So you're going to single crochet into that first stitch in the back loop only, and single crochet into each of the next two stitches in the back loop only. You're then going to work your first spike stitch. So you're going to work through the space below the next stitch. So instead of working your hook through the top loops, you're actually going to bring your stitch, your hook down underneath the next stitch, insert your hook there and work your single crochet. Pull up your stitch so that it's the height of a single crochet stitch, yarn over and pull through and that's your first spike stitch. You're then going to single crochet in the back loop only of each of the next three stitches. Next, work a spike stitch in the next stitch. So down below the next stitch, right under it, insert your hook, drop a loop to the height of a single crochet, yarn over and pull through. You're now going to repeat that all the way across. So in the back loop only three single crochets, one in each, the next three stitches, and then a spike stitch. 
in the back loop only, one in each of the next three, and a spike stitch. Continue that all the way across. At the end of row three, you're going to chain one and turn your work. You're then going to repeat what you did for row two in the back loop only, single crochet in each stitch all the way across. At the end of row four, you're going to chain one and turn your work. We're now going to work another row of our spike stitches. And we're going to want to stagger them a little bit. So after you've chained one, you're going to single crochet in the back loop only of your first stitch. And you'll want to spike stitch in the next. So working down underneath that stitch, insert your hook and a spike stitch. Then one single crochet in the back loop only of each of the next three stitches, followed by a spike stitch. And you're going to repeat that all the way across. When you come to the end of this row, that is all there is to working this pattern. From then on you're going to simply repeat rows two through to five and uh, for as long as you would like the pattern to be worked. Just finish my last stitch here and there you have it. So thank you so much for joining me on this stitch tutorial for how to work the basket stitch. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Until then, happy crocheting. Bye.